Hey guys, this is Justin from Lottie Central. Today I wanted to demonstrate what it would look like if you did all your behavior tracking in your very own Google Form. Now, I know this requires a lot of prerequisite skills, but honestly, I think Google's making this easier and easier to learn almost every day. And I'm gonna provide you with some additional tutorials after this video. So let's get started. This is a very simple Google Form I made uh, to track antecedent behavior consequence. Of course, you have tools to make the tracker for any type of data collection. I just picked this one. Now, let's start it. I'm going to pick the date, the time the behavior occurred, the student, and by the way, you don't have to use real names, the location. Now, I'll select the antecedent. For behavior, I'm going to pick two choices, uh, yelling and tantrum, uh, consequence, now I pick it was resolved, yes. If I had picked no, it would have skipped this page. But it didn't. So I'm going to select my time. Now I can make my final comments. To do another report, I simply click submit another response. Now let's look how Google Forms automatically collects our responses. Right now we are on the summary view. This is where I actually apply some graphical analysis for all the students and entries thus far. It shows the most frequent dates used. Apparently the 14th was a rather rough day. It shows the usual time of behaviors. It also compares student reporting frequency. Poor Johnny. Similarly, it compares location, antecedent, behaviors, and consequence. The charts are interactive too, so you can see hover text by pulling your cursor on top of them. And we have our comments listed here below. Overall, it gives us a lot of data and a lot of charting. We can click individual at the top where we'll see each individual report made thus far and we can print them out. Now, if we really want to take control of our data, we can also make the forms populate a Google spreadsheet every time it's submitted. So not only will we have our data here, we can also send it to a spreadsheet where we can do a little bit more with it. Now, if you're a um, inspiring spreadsheet guru, you could do a lot of data crunches from here, but something I recommend for everyone to do, and something I like to do, is make a sheet for every student as well. So you don't just have your overall class report, you can have an individual sheet for every student. To do this, we use an add-on called Row Call. I'll walk you through it. You click add-ons on your sheet. You would click get add-ons, but since we already have it, we highlight row call and we click start. It pops up to the side and it wants us to pick a column where it will make a separate sheet for each unique name given. It wants to make one of time, but I'm going to pick student. Make sure you have automatic selected so you won't have to do this each time, it'll be automatic. Here at the bottom, I have a page for each student and I still have the whole class page where my Google form sends all the new information. In fact, whenever that sheet gets new information, it will now copy it to these appropriate sheets as well. So now I could print out an individual Excel sheet on a kid for all the behaviors thus far and keep it in the IEP folder instead of copying a class one with other students on it. Now I'll give you a fast run through of how I made my sheet. Remember, I will provide tutorials after this video in the course. Here is the sheet I made. When you want to add a question, all you do is click a plus sign here. I can now make any type of questions. Here's a short answer. I could type over the question with the actual question word I wanted to make. Uh, check boxes for multiple answers, a drop down box for selecting students, uh, data selection, time selection. With that in mind, let's look at my layout. I have student name as a drop down box so I don't misspell anything. Uh, location is multiple choice. If I wanted the option to pick two or more like I did with behavior, I would just turn it into a check box. Um, antecedent, I have multiple choice. Behavior, check box. Consequence, multiple choice. The only special unique thing I did was here. Uh, for resolved, 
I went to the options and I picked go to section based on answer. I chose if yes, it was resolved, you would go to section two and give the time it took. If you checked no, it would skip that and go straight to the comments. Finally, I want to demonstrate how you could record this behavior on an iPad easily. And this might be the seller for some teachers. It'll function just like an app. As the tutorials will teach you, I emailed the link to myself. I open my email, I click the link, and now I click the iPad send button to the top right. And I click add to home screen. I could change the name if I like. And bam, here it is. I could be going about my day, scroll through, pop up my information on my form icon, then I'm ready to report. I hope this helps you out. I hope some of you give this a try.